Hello, Carolina Day School people. Uh, my name is Sam Harrelson. If we haven't met, if we have met, uh, it's good to see you again virtually. I hope to see you in person. I'm going to be doing a little talk on Wednesday, February the 1st, uh, and we're going to be talking about how to really just basically use different types of tech in the classroom to make the classroom more, I don't know, engaging, more 21st century, those buzzwords. But essentially it comes down to how to use tools that are out there, free, available, uh, just require a little bit of time from, from you and I and, and the students to actually do some really, really, really interesting things. Uh, nothing that we don't already do, but perhaps streamline things for you. I know they have for me. So I'm going to be showing you how I use little things like uh, this. This is our, our class blog, and, and I'm just be working through that. And you know, you, you'll notice it, it's got a little picture refresh. So uh, when the kids check, they, they get to see different little things. And it, it's mostly about uh, school stuff, you know, but you, you get the random things like School Appreciation Day. And then actually each one of my students has their own uh, portfolio that they keep on a, on a blog. So for instance, here's uh, Charlie McKenzie's blog. And he's got a squirrel picture for extra credit because it was uh, actually uh, Squirrel Appreciation Day yesterday. So he posted that up on a weekend. Pretty cool. Uh, so you can actually go on there and, and uh, see that. Madeline, for instance, uh, great student, beautiful, beautiful site. She's really not mad. Uh, posted her, her essay up from uh, Tree Grows in Brooklyn that we're reading. That kind of thing. Very, very fun, uh, innovative stuff that it's not anything, again, that I created or, or whatever, it's just tapping into that student uh, potential and it's very easy to do. Um, also we're going to be looking at how to use Google Docs to enable better sharing both among students and among students and teachers and among teachers and teachers and, and all that fun stuff. Uh, it, it Honestly Google Docs is, is kind of the backbone of our class as much as Studies Lab is. Um, but I'm a huge fan of Google Docs for a lot of reasons that we'll talk about. Google Reader, how do you keep up with all this stuff? There's a great site that ties into our, our Google accounts that you'll, you'll be receiving soon if you haven't already, hopefully over the summer, if you're in the lower school or, or upper school and, and uh, you haven't gotten onto the Google Apps stuff. And basically you're able to keep up with anything that's posted around the web, especially if you have your kids doing things like online portfolios, just by taking the link and plugging it in and, and you can get some nice stuff. So for instance, here's Seth's uh, essay about uh, the Red Badge of Courage that he's posted up on his blog. Uh, here's Scott and his uh, his essay that you can click there in the bibliography. Um, and I, I get that. And there's, you know, there's a timestamp, as you can see over here. So it's it's not as if uh, I'm, I'm worried about carrying around you know, lots of these types of papers. This is also still, still good and relevant, but there's something to be said about for about this kind of sharing in education. Last, uh, here's here's something that we use every day in class called Google Moderator, which is a lot of fun because basically this allows the kids to have a voice in how we set up our class for that day. So, for instance, we were discussing uh, the the uh, American Revolution, and um, we are able to post up questions quickly, and kids can vote them up, vote them down, depending on uh, how relevant they might be to what we are discussing in class, if, if they actually want to go off in that direction. So for the last 10, 15 months or so of class, uh, we'll open it up to these types of questions. So you can see just from this one class period, and this is one class period, uh, we had 189 votes on 24 questions from 15 students in one class period. That's kind of cool. And uh, it's, it's neat that, that kids are given that sort of uh, leverage to actually say, hey, this looks kind of interesting. Let's dig a little deeper in this direction within the confines of the classroom. And it's nothing I'm doing again. It's, these are all tools that, that have made this available. And finally, we're going to look at things like uh, the new iBooks Author tool, which allows you to create your own textbook. And yes, it is Mac-centric at this point. Yeah, it's going to be changing, I believe. But for right now, uh, as we move more and more towards Macs at Carolina Day, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm a Mac fan. Um, Things like this tool are going to be incredibly, incredibly exciting for, uh, for for what we do as teachers. Imagine creating your textbook, and it's as simple as dragging and dropping. If you can use Word or Pages or Keynote or PowerPoint, whichever uh, flavor you like, you can use this tool. And I'm, I'm making a, an app that is our textbook for Studies Lab or our, our little classroom uh, site. So basically, I'm, I'll have this textbook that we're using in, in my class for you to see and, and you can check that out. There'll be a link here as well. 
So, all that to say, come come hang out Wednesday, February the 1st. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Um, we're going to have a lot of questions. Bring questions, please. Uh, this is not uh, a place for you to, to get assaulted by all this new technology stuff. Uh, and, and that whole uh, new school versus old school thing is really played out as well. We're all in this together, and uh, we're just sharing tools. So if you know of some stuff that I don't know, and I'm, and I'm sure you do, and, and I know some stuff you don't know, let's just learn from each other because that's what being in a learning community is all about. So I hope you'll come out, and I hope you'll uh, bring your questions and your ideas and, and your, your points of view, and uh, let's, let's hammer out a better Carolina Day School. Thanks.